Okay, come back. The only question is whether we can find a way to rouse ourselves. And to engage in that larger project. Literally can split this problem in two, and now what was a thousand page problem, thank you very much, I practiced in advance. What happens if I take the whole thing and turn it upside down? To reaffirm that pathway from the eye to the mind on what it is that makes us, uh, Drew Faust included, such extraordinary creatures. Thank you very much. You Stephen Greenblatt from the English Department. I am Jill Laporte from the History Department. I am Dan Lieberman, Professor of Human Evolutionary Biology. I am Bonnie Ham and I teach at School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. My name is Eleanor Duckworth. I teach at the Graduate School of Education. I am Nicholas Christakis. I'm a professor of medicine and a professor of medical sociology at Harvard Medical School. I'm Kaya Stern. I teach at the Divinity School. I'm Professor Doug Melton and I'm a stem cell biologist working here at the college and the medical school. Harvard Thinks Big on Thursday, February 9th at 8 p.m. I'll see you at Harvard Thinks Big Thursday, February 9th, 8 p.m. And I'll be talking at Harvard Thinks Big Thursday, February 9th at 8 p.m. February 9th at Sanders Theater at 8 p.m. Thursday, February 9th at 8 p.m. at uh, Harvard Thinks Big 3. My topic is confusion, play, and the postponement of certainty. At Harvard Thinks Big, I'll be talking about speaking with the dead. I'm going to be speaking about stem cell biology, how our bodies are made and maintained by stem cells, and talk about the future of harnessing that biology for a better life. Acting big and daring to see. I study history, and there is nothing bigger than the past. How and why social networks are like carbon. I'm going to Harvard Thinks Big because there are seven other wonderful speakers whose ideas I want to hear. Ideas matter because they change the way you act. To explain why big ideas matter, I think I would love to quote Larry Summers and to say that what's so important is the transition from the idea of authority to the authority of ideas. Understanding ideas and how they rule our lives is a key part not only of a Harvard education, but being a productive and happy citizen. Freedom.